The government of Kenya is currently seeking for international markets for women from seven pastoralist communities to sell their beadwork products. Principal Secretary for Culture and Heritage, Omi Bashir, said that they are committed to ensuring that marketing and selling of beadwork will be more profitable to the women whose livelihoods depend on beads. She made the remarks during stakeholders' forum for Narrow County Ushanga Initiative at African Hope Hall. In attendance were Naru Governor Patrick Olintutu, Coordinator Ushanga Kenya Initiative Dorothy Unashipai, among other stakeholders. And I'm trying to remember how I have known Ushanga since I was young, that they are saying, number one, we need materials so that we can do uh, the bidding. But the question is, Leah, where is this Ushanga coming from? Are you all the way in the Czech Republic. That is number one. The other thing they are saying, where do we sell these products? We need a shop. We need shades. We need curios. The, 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 the third thing that they want is the market for these products. Now that we have made this product, that we are traveling all the way to Czech Republic, and only one monopoly, an Indian person in, in Nairobi, is the only one that is um, uh, that is importing this uh, uh, product. Hii ushanga tuko nazo, lakini how do we protect it? How do we ensure that um, mtu anje hata kuja kusema hii bids ni zake this, this issue of ushanga originally came from let's say Scotland ama imetoka Britain so tumona hizi ma, Masai blankets zina uzo huko Scotland na wanasema ni zao na wao ndo walikuja nayo they are the ones who invented it and in real sense this is our culture. So how can we protect and preserve our culture? Okay? We have to think ways around it. First things is to look at the law. Mimi kwanza ni wakili wa miaka kumi. So ningependa tu fuate sheria. We look at the intellectual property, how we can patent, how we can make sure that he ushanga ni yetu. Now, despite rains being experienced in some parts of the country, some parts of the vast Kajado County have not received a drop of rain and are still grappling with the effects of drought. The smell of death waves in the air as carcasses are strewn all over, evidence of the mass losses that hit farmers in the region after tens of livestock succumbed to drought. The Masai